Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Um, time once again for my pseudo cast, and um, for today, if for no other reason than I just couldn't think of anything else, I'm gonna go with um, relaxing river, ultra HD nature video. Um, not a, not a really big fan of this. Um, but again, I didn't. I couldn't have thought of anything else I wanted to do. Um, the, I wanted to do a, a people watching video. Have a excuse me. I wanted to have a people watching video on here, but the pickings are really slim, and I don't believe in playing the same thing twice. I, I, I want to be able to play something different every day. So that that idea is pretty much out the window. Um, the uh, the walking down the street videos. I am not, I've never been a huge fan of them, but, I mean, there's plenty of those to go around, but again, I, the novelty on that is wore off. Actually, let me rephrase that. Uh, I ended up tapping out because of all the, uh, walking down the street videos that I was showing. So, that leaves me, that leaves me with this. And again, I'm not, something about, mainly because these kind of videos here, to me, are very, very cliche. <clears throat> People probably see this kind of thing a lot in in various forms of media. Oh, also, um, let everybody know, I I basically got out of shower, or basically got out of the shower about, I'd say about 15, 20 minutes ago. So I'm a I'm a little bit um I'm a little bit fatigued. I'm a little bit fatigued right now. It just it happens whenever I get out of the shower. I'm just all... So. But, but anyway. But uh, let me, uh, let me sound test this. Okay, it's a bit on the quiet side. Or I guess it would help if I put my headphones on. should about do it okay uh, but anyway like I said a um, little fatigued a little tired right now um, I just got just hopped out of the shower so uh, but otherwise I didn't really do a whole lot um, oh I got my um I did get my uh, second COVID shot this morning or I should I should say yesterday morning so that's so that's out of the way. So two weeks from now, I'll no longer have to wear a mask at work. So, oh sweet fucking freedom! So glad to have gotten that taken care of. Of course, this also assumes that there's not going to be another strain of virus that suddenly shows up or something, and everybody has to get revaccinated all over again. You know, whatever, you know. Uh, but again, um. Didn't do a lot. La didn't do a lot last night. Um, I played a little bit of pinball, but I think with the exception of maybe one table, a uh, Family Guy off the uh, off Pinball FX3, I pretty much sucked ass on all the rest of the tables I tried. So couldn't get anything going there. And um, I also I also watched a mo I started watching a movie called. Uh, I got, oh, excuse me, called, oh, wait, 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 let me stop, let me stop. Um, uh, right, I'm drinking, uh, excuse me, I'm drinking V8 Energy, uh, V8 Energy drink, orange pineapple flavored. So. But yeah, I started watching, uh, I started watching another movie called I Got Next, which is basically, um, it's just about uh, fighting game tournaments, um, and I guess uh, just like just like rap music, I guess uh, fighting games also has kind of an East Coast West Coast rivalry. Just you know, one one coast trying to do better than the other. But I'm sitting here, I'm watching all, I'm watching this, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder where the North Side fits in on this. I mean, you know, like. 
If if I was to ever be a good player, I wonder where a Minnesotan like myself would fit in. Maybe I should like uh Maybe I should start my own north side and we can we can you know we we can like wear Minnesota Vikings out we can wear purple and yellow Minnesota Vikings outfits and we can have like we can have like a polka band playing for us in the background or something. I don't know. Score Vikings. Yeah. We'd we'd, we'd pretty much be laughing stocks of the whole FGC. Yep, you're the Minnesota Yep. We are the Minnesotans. Yep. We're we represent the North Side. Yeah, we 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 pretty much get laughed out of town. But uh but yeah, it was all I know and another and another and it was excuse me. I like this I really like this when my uh my mind my mind and my mouth don't cooperate with with each other and it just causes me to I go I go I go I go I go start me causing me to start speaking in uh, gibberish. But but anyway, like I was trying to say, was that even nevertheless, this is a pretty good history lesson. Um, you know, as as someone like myself who's only got into fighting games, who got into fighting games only recently. You know, because um, back in the probably back in the nineties. I, I mean, I aside from you know, played a few you know played a few fighting games here and there and stuff, but I, I was never part of the uh, FGC. That's uh short for fighting game community for those not in the know. But um, and when I was uh, where, uh, back in, again back in the nineties and two thousands, I was living in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma as well. So. The FGC, as I knew it, didn't really exist. You know, I think um. You know, when I, whenever uh, where my whole uh, my whole thing was uh, I think I did try playing with other players, but I I am for the most part a scrub. Um, I almost I mean, usually it's just a struggle and a half for me just to just to beat the computer, let alone another player. And I'm pretty much still like that to this day. I mean, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I struggle, you know, I struggle as it is against a computer, let alone, an, you know, let alone an actual player. So, so you can only imagine how bad of a player I am. But um, what uh, what uh, what brains? One thing I do recall, you know, one thing I do recall back when uh, back when I was playing fighting games. Um, I would, I would certainly be playing, you know, la, 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 you know, just, you know, playing by myself, having a good time, and then, um, somebody, um, some guy would be watching me play, and then he would kind of notice that, you know, I was kind of struggling against the computer, right, when he saw that, boom, jumped right on, hey, can I play? Um, 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 yeah, sure, and then proceeds to kick my ass and, you know, you know, basically hand my ass to me in a high hat, and, I just, you know, I had no chance another, you know, against this player, so I just went off and did something else, leaving him to play by himself. So, it's, it's all, um, and it's also one of the reasons why, why the fighting game Time Killers, I guess it's like one of the most critically, pan, critically panned games of all time. It's all, it's also one of my, was also one of my favorites. It was one of my favorite fighting games back in the, back in the day. Because apparently everybody else hated it. You know, nobody could stand it. They thought it was a joke. So it ended up being one of my favorites because it was pretty much my uh, it was pretty much my sanctuary game. Oh, and um, and um, the further prefaces and this is even with me playing fighting games back in the day, I didn't play them constantly. Um, I think with few exceptions. Um. Mortal Kombat's one and two. I mean, I played, I played those. Uh, Street Fighters one and two. I played those, you know, I played those. But as far as like Street Fighter three, you know, three X, three X Alpha, three X Alpha Beta, three X Alpha Gamma, you know, and then in you know, insert algebra, you know, Street Fighter, insert algebra equation here, you know, I didn't. My interest in those 
only went as far as the first two. Same with Mortal Kombat. Um, played the first two pretty heavily, but three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, all them didn't didn't really care for them. Um, I think I played Mortal Kombat three a little bit, a little bit, but not that much. But 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 even even then, fighting games were just one of many genres of video games that I played. I think um. The only game I could think of where I played a where I played a ton, where I played a ton of, um, and to this day it's still my all-time favorite fighting game. It's all uh, WrestleMania, WrestleMania the arcade game. That was one of those where I probably I probably plunked in like five, ten dollars and quarters just because I love the game so much. But uh, no other game that I could think of was like that. All other fighting games, I would just, um, I'd play once or twice, and then move over here to this game, and then after I was done with that game, move over here and play some pinball. But basically, in arcades, I made the rounds. I, um, I only played a video, I only played a pinball game, or a pinball machine, or a video game, like, once or twice, and then off to the next one. So. Um, and for the most part, at least as far as fighting games go, I only played those in the mornings. I would only I would get in there uh, right when an arcade opened up, because you know when nobody else is there, just me being the only one, and that's where I probably spent most of my time playing playing the fighting games. And it just occurred to me. I mean, I want, I'm not gonna make a big. It's not that big of a deal, but they got a damn watermark over here in the lower right corner. I mean, had I seen that earlier, chances are I might not have, uh, I might not have done this video at all. But, you know, because it's something else I'm not a fan of. I think uh, the very, very first two pseudo casts that I've ever done, I think they had this, they had this really annoying watermark in the upper left corner, like called Atriumi Carcerni or something like that. I don't know the name, name of it, but yeah, it was just. Frickin' annoying as hell that watermark's sitting there. But, to be fair, at least it was up here in the upper left corner. I tried watching one video, um, CNN videos or something like that. I put the fucking thing right smack in the middle. And I don't care if it's transparent, you can see through it, but still, right in the frickin' middle. That's pretty damn disrespectful. So, but anyway, getting back to what I was saying... So most of my fighting games were played in the early in the early morning, right when an arcade opened up. This way, I have all the fighting games to myself. Um, I didn't have I didn't have to worry about I didn't have to worry about some other guy just jump you know jumping right on it. Hey man, you don't mind if I jump into you? Uh, uh, uh okay, yeah, uh, sure, uh, no problem. All right, puts his quarters in and then <laughs> wipes you know wipes the floor with me and. Send me going off to again playing time killers, or or if if uh, if the arcade I was at at the time didn't have time killers, I would probably go play pinball or you know something else. And it's and um now that I think about it, this is also one of the reasons why pinball is one of my all-time favorite. Technically, it's not a video game unless you count Pinball FX3 and Pinball Arcade, but. It's one of my all-time favorite video games. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, like I was saying, it's why uh, pinball is one of my all-time favorite video game genres. Again, technically, they're not video games, but for the con the context of which I'm talking, close enough. It was, but yeah, it, because. A lot of those, um, a lot of those fighting game players, I never saw them play pinball. They all headed to the Mortal Kombat, to the, to the Mortal Kombat, to the Street Fighters, and all that. They all crowded around there. They only set their quarters up on top of the machine. They all took their turns and all that. Um, but I think, and I, as far back as I can recall, not a single one of those fighting game players ever played pinball. So. That was, so, again, that was my sanctuary right there. So, 
back when uh back when I actually was playing fighting games like in the evenings, you know, when the arcade you know, peak hours when the arcades are you know, when the arcades are busy, um, whenever whenever I try to play somebody else and I get my ass kicked, headed straight over to pinball. Cause again, nobody that played fighting games would, would ever would have ever set foot over on a pinball machine, even though me personally I, it's still a challenge. I mean, I've been playing pinball ever since I was a little kid. You know, and even, and even with the, uh, not to not trying to brag or anything, but even with the skill set I have, I mean, all of your best laid plants can still go to waste. You know, all of your best laid plants can still fail. I mean, it's also one of the reasons why I don't stream pinball as much because the frustration just built up over the years of me, of me streaming it twice a week. Because because actually it was because of me getting better and better at it, you know, aiming you know trying to aim my shots carefully, you know taking a little time you know, relaxing a bit you know and then all this prep work that I'm doing, you know, carefully placing my shot but end up still fucking up anyway and re causing the ball to plink go straight down the middle anyway. I mean I've ended I've ended stream sessions because of that. So I mean it's even more frustrating but. But anyway, kind of rewinding back to what I was talking about earlier. Because, um, you know, one of the reasons I love pinball is because most of these people in the in the FGC, I never saw them play pinball. They were all just over, you know, trying to, over there with their power trips and, you know, being fiercely competitive and all that stuff. And, it, you know, it's, I want to say it's almost like prison, you know, it's like the, uh, it's like all these different factions fighting against each other, you know, the Aryan Brotherhood against the Blacks and all that, you know, that kind of thing. I'd want to say maybe too competitive, if that makes any sense. I mean, I don't, I mean, see, this is something else, I, this is something else I'm, I'm, I'll go, you know, before I forget again to mention it. I mean, there's been a small handful of times where I've played fighting games, you know, and some, you know, some person who who's, you know, about the same skill level as me, not that great, you know, puts in his quarters and we have a, you know, we have a good time together. It's an even match. You know, we're evenly matched and, you know, and hey, hey, you want to play again? Yeah, sure, no problem. You know, we, you know, we play again. You know, I mean, but those, uh, those instances there are few and far between. You know, usually, usually, I mean, most of the encounters I have with other people Again, like I said, towards the start of this cast, they don't happen immediately. Usually, usually I start off with some guy walking up, watching me play, see how well I do against the computer, and then they see that I have a, you know, I'm really struggling. Then he just jumps in, then he jumps in and kicks my ass and gets me out, gets me off the game. So that's the majority of my experiences with it. So, you know, and again, during during peak hours at arcades, this is this is what I would see. Um, but one thing I, I think it also needs to be said too, um, most, most of my fighting arcade, or most of my fighting games in arcades were in Tulsa, Oklahoma and Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. It wasn't, it wasn't in NorCal or SoCal or New York or, you know, any of those, you know, super pop, you know, it wasn't anywhere in the West Coast or East Coast or, you know, with a, with a strong FGC. Um, that I can recall. There was no FGC back in the 90s and 2000s when I was playing them. So, um, one instance I can remember, it was an arcade, um, it was in Tulsa. I'm racking my brain right now. Oh, God. I want to say 21st and Memorial in Tulsa. I think that's the that's the place. Twenty first of Memorial. There was an arc. It was an arcade, with a, uh, and I think there was a game shop. There was a nerdy game shop next to it. But um, uh, but I there was a, but it was a, uh, it was all it was pretty big, um, pretty big free for all, you know. And one guy that stayed at it was. I think it was one of the Street Fighters. Yeah, it was one of the one of the Street Fighter games. It wasn't 
it wasn't the vanilla Street Fighter 2. It was one of the others. Like, one of the others was like a, like some kind of algebra equation at the end of the name. But, uh, it was this, one that stuck out was this really big fat kid. She wore a light blue shirt and, I think, gray jogging pants. And I kind of, kind of felt sorry for this tool he was sitting on. But, I mean, um, he would be playing. Um, some other player would pop in his quarter, get his butt kicked, off he went. Next guy that had his quarter up, put his in. Or I think it was, I think it might have been 50 cents quarter. But anyway, anyway, it don't, it don't matter, it don't matter. But she would, uh, she would pop his quarter in. And this fat kid would kick his butt, off he went. Next! Another one, and, you know, rinse and repeat for a while. So eventually, the fat kid, yeah, he got, you know, he lost and he got off the table. And then there's somebody else there to take his place. Um, but that was one, that was probably the closest to a tournament as I'd ever seen. Um, and, oh, another instance, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. I just remembered this. There was a, um, I was at this arcade. It was actually open for a few months before they had their grand opening. Why they timed it like that, I don't know. But anyway, Street Fighter 2. Right when Street Fighter 2 first came out, late 80s, early 90s, don't know the exact year, but, but yeah, everybody and their freaking dog was just piled in front of this game. Brand spanking new. Um, but in, in what I consider probably one of the biggest travesties in video, in at least in that in that period of my life, 90% of those players chose Ken and Ryu. That's it. I think there is, I think, eight total characters. Everybody, 90% of them picked Ken and Ryu. Somebody would, uh, somebody would pick some different character, but he'd get his ass beaten. Off you went, and next, and up next, more Ken and Ryu. So, so like, wait it, wait it, you know. Kind of wasted the effort there, Capcom. You just made a add of six other six other players that nobody played. Oh, and not to be racist or anything, but for what it's worth, I think most of the people that were playing that brand new Street Fighter Two game were Asian players. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, they're mostly Asians, uh, Asians and whites, and I think I saw a few blacks there as well. But yeah, that I wasn't even gonna bother trying to play that game, not with all that people there. So, but anyway, about but rewinding way back to this movie I was watching, I got next. But again, that's what that's what the whole the the this whole premise of the movie that I've seen so far, it's the uh, the East Coast West Coast rivalry when it comes to fighting games. So, but I, I, to kind of re, kind of review, um, again, I don't know where somebody from the north side would fit in, in that kind of thing. You know, you know, a Minnesotan like myself, or even a, even a southerner like back when I was living in again back when I was living in Oklahoma, I don't know where the south side would fit in in there. So, but again, my experience, um, my experiences with it, the FGC as I knew it. Or the FGC, as you guys would probably know it, didn't exist back in my day. It was all just a collection of individuals, you know, wanting to beat each other on a on a on a fighting game. So, um, but wow, I was I was I was actually expecting this to be a fairly short video. Again, I didn't, aside from watching that movie and playing a little bit of pinball. And getting my COVID shot, I hadn't really done much else. So, uh, as it's about uh, 25 minutes right now, well, just a little bit past my 15-minute cutoff, um, and because I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, so thanks, uh, thanks a bunch for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and hopefully, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Which will be my last one for the work for the week, cause Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday I'll be at work. So, but until then, thanks again for dropping by, everybody. Uh, take care and see you all next time.